Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Fiendish Freddy's Big Top O-Fun. Um, this is a very interesting game. It's one I've actually never heard of uh, until recently, but it's basically sort of like a mini game game, sort of like California games or Skate or Die or Winter Games. Um, however, this one sort of has a comedy slash dark humor element, which I kind of like. Also, it has a very unique uh, setting. It takes place at a circus. And the premise of this game is that you have a failing circus, and there's an evil businessman called Fiendish Freddy who's trying to buy your circus, and he wants to build condos or, you know, whatever evil businessmen want to do with X circus property. And in order to survive, you actually have to collect $10,000 by doing good enough at six different circus-based minigames. So unlike California games or other games like that, uh, there's... Oh god, that's terrifying. Uh, there's actually a goal here. Um, you're trying to not just do good for the point of getting, uh, you know, points, uh, but you actually, you know, want to save your circus. So um, this game looks pretty cool. I'm kind of interested in trying it. 1989 this game came out originally on like atari st amstrad cpc dos and amiga and it was later ported to all sorts of other systems including i think the zx spectrum so that's kind of cool i mean a lot of these old computer games as we've seen time and time again just pretty much end up on every system um eventually so i decided to play amiga because it has Typically the nicest graphics and sound of all those. Well, I mean, Amstrad CPC and Atari ST, they tend to be pretty comparable too. DOS usually has decent graphics, but the sound, you know, the PC speaker in uh, DOS computers, I mean, I find it nostalgic, but it's not necessarily what I would consider good. So um, this might be the name of our first event or just what we see during the loading screen. I'm not 100% sure. Hurry, hurry, hurry. One downside to playing Amiga games is I can never tell if the program has hung or if it's in the middle of loading. Um, I guess now it is actually loading. So we have the number of players. I'm gonna select one. How do I do this though? <laughs> the game seems to be glitching out. What is happening here? All right, so one player. Uh, next beast. Oh, we get to select a beast. We can be a, a saucy bear, a cool tiger, a crazy monkey, uh, an elephant, or I like this, this, uh, lion. We're gonna take this beast. Yeah. Also, the graphics seem to be glitching out a bit. I wonder if the version I've got, the disc, is slightly corrupt. Back in the day, uh, discs used to get corrupt and your games would get a little messed up, actually. Oh, his pants fell off. Um, I remember many a time throwing a disc in my backpack. You know, I'd like copy Dune 2 or something like that for a friend of mine, put on a floppy disk, throw in my backpack. You know, the heat from being in my backpack all day and being sloshed around and stuff like that. You'd give it to your friend and sometimes it would play, but it would be a little corrupted and sometimes it wouldn't even play. I mean, you typically would hope your discs wouldn't get corrupted, but floppy disks just did not last very long. They were like very fragile things. Um, and they had like a lifespan, you know, uh, like you could only copy stuff onto them like 10 times uh, before it started to get dicey as to whether you could erase and rewrite yet again, you know. Um, I feel like nowadays, I mean, I guess flash drives have a limit, but they're way more robust and stable than uh, than back in the day when you would, you know, copy floppy disk games for your buddies. Um, and nowadays everything's in the cloud, you know, you just put a file on Google Drive and send it to your friend and they have it. So, uh, data was way more fragile back in the day. So I don't know, maybe we're playing a, a version of this that was on a corrupt disk. If so, that's kind of nostalgic in and of itself, so... Uh, yeah. The first event here looks to be high diving, though. And so we're going to figure out the controls as we go. Um, although maybe if this first event goes really badly, I'll pop out the manual for the next event so that we don't just totally bomb. Uh, the load screens are long enough that we can read the manual. So we just have to like land in the pool of water. 
Now, apparently, uh, Fiendish Freddy will show up in the different events and try and screw with you. Oh, God, we missed it. Oh, I see. I was kind of looking at the mini-map on the side to see where I needed to land. <laughs> I totally, totally beefed it there. Do I get another shot, or am I just done with the, uh... Just done. Here come the judges. Oh, yeah, you get judged in every event by five clowns. Okay, if we really just... If we really did totally screw it up there, uh... Maybe I will, uh... Maybe I will reload this event. We'll give this another shot. But yeah, these load times... These load times are something special. I think what I'll end up having to do for this is, uh... Cut out a lot of these load times, because... A lot- also, a lot of this video is just gonna be us sitting here staring at, uh... At, uh... You know, screens while we wait for them to load. So they are judging me. Uh, come on, you didn't like that, clowns? The guy- <laughs> he's poking the other guy in the eyeballs! They get the clowns gave us... A hundred and thirty-eight dollars! Hey, that's not bad. The guy literally, like, fell to his death. Can we get, like, a little more cash than that? Um, now do we actually get another shot here? Cause maybe we can make- maybe we can make it up to the clowns. No, no, we're just on to the next event. Alright, let's reset and give this high dive thing another shot. Alright, well, this is embarrassing, but, uh, this is actually the DOS version. In the time it took me to load up even the title screen of the Amiga version, I pretty much had the- Oh god, you're blowing me off course! No, Fiendish Freddy, you dick! Wait, how do I get back on course? <laughs> Wait, what? You just fail! Here come the judges. Okay, the- the PC sound effects suck, but we got a taste of what they could be on the Amiga. But look how much faster it loads in DOS here. Like the- Oh, we only got 17 cents for that too, by the way. Yikes. Okay, well, let's go through all the events once. And, uh, oh god. Okay, throw it! Throw it! Catch it! Oh, we missed. We missed. Okay, now throw it. Oh, there we go, we threw. And, oh god, throw, throw! God, oh god, catch something! Oh, I exploded! <laughs> okay, something to do with the ups and downs there. Uh, move, pressing up and down, like, moves your hands. Um, oh my god, that clown just tried to punch the other one in the face. I like these clowns, they're chaotic. They're sort of Three Stooges-esque. Alright, we're up to 70 cents. Let's see if Jay the Angry... Ty the Angry Lion. I kind of like that Angry Lion as my avatar, to be honest. Alright, we got a Bikini Babe. Oh god, there's just nothing! <laughs> She just fell to her death! <laughs> Alright, well at least we're zooming through this. So the thing about- Oh god, grab it! Oh, she did! The thing about the DOS version is at least things move a little faster. Um, so we're gonna get like multiple shots here. Go! Oh shoot! To her death. Here come the judges! So we can do a practice round here, see how we do. Obviously, we're doing terrible. Um, but on the Amiga, honestly, it would take me, like, hours to get this far. Um, so, uh, yeah. You know, it's the ups and downsides of the Amiga. Amiga had very good sound effects and graphics. DOS could have great graphics. Sound effects, if it had a sound blaster set up, could be quite good. But the default PC speaker on DOS just really sucks. Um, so here we get to throw knives at a bikini babe and hopefully not hit her. Oh god, I'm just kind of like throwing them randomly, to be honest. I think I'm supposed to like hit these, uh, balls or something. Oh, Freddy's throwing a bomb at her! Oh my god. Okay. I can't hit any of these stupid balloons. Hopefully I'm not hitting her. She doesn't seem to be- oh god, she yelled pain. All right, we hit virtually nothing, and she just rolls off. And there's a clown behind her. Here come the judges. They don't like me. Oh, that guy's choking the other guy. Why do the clowns assault one another when I do poorly? All right, tightrope walking. Let's see how we do with this one. Uh, all right, we got a 
balance, I'm guessing. Okay, what are the buttons? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. This is like, this is actually super stressful. Okay, we're going. We're going. Walk faster. Walk, okay, I think I got it. Using a very... How, how do you actually get him to walk forward? Oh my god. He pulled my fingers off! So, Looney Tunes style violence, obviously. Um, this game is obviously very silly. Um, alright, go ahead, walk. Oh, I see, you hold up, and then your guy walks forward. Oh, uh, here we go. We're making progress. Wow, I might actually be able to do this event. Surprisingly enough. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Oh, we did it! Eat that, clowns. Now, appe now appearing. Oh, we have to do it again? So I guess each of these events you do like three or four different times. Oh my god, who's who's flying around me? I think I can get sawed in half by that guy, by the way. If he gets too close. And I think I just done screwed up. And I'm gonna fall off again. Alright, well the tightrope walking so far was actually the... Like, most reasonable... Game. <laughs> hey, he sprayed the other guy in the face. $241. Oh, they gave me a thousand! Alright. We're up to 1,300 bones here. It's not gonna be enough to save the circus the first time through. But, oh, I like, uh, the bikini babe in the, uh, USA, uh, bikini there. Right, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, launch. Launch me, Tina! Am I, am I supposed to aim this, or... Do I just press a button? <laughs> Off he goes! He's not going high enough. Alright, well we might have to read the manual for that one. I get another shot here. Okay. So... Oh, I get to, like, place a landing thing? Alright. And... Oh, I just fired straight up! <laughs> I like how, uh, how the uh, ammo and stuff is Acme. It's very, like, Looney Tunes-esque. Okay, she lights me. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a 45 degree angle. Boom! The perfect angle. Can I move the, uh, the landing thingy? Cause that needs to be way closer. I don't even know what I'm trying to accomplish here. Does he hit the ramp and then go airborne again? Right, they're judging me... ...harshly, of course. They're so mad, they're assaulting one another. Only got 300 bucks for that. So, it, so at the end of all the mini-games, if you haven't got enough money... ...then basically the circus gets demolished and destroyed. Which is sad for the circus. If you win... Then, I don't know, good times are had by all. But instead, we have a condo, and like a McDonald's in the background. And I guess that's bad. Instead, we wanted a circus. The end, Freddy won. Alright, well, uh, let's take a quick look at the manual, and then give this one another shot here. Here, by the way, is the opening that we never really got to see. The circus owner is just standing around, and a very long limo shows up. And this music is just so grating. <laughs> PC speakers can do okay with basic sound effects, but I feel like they shouldn't try and make music, because it very rarely works out. Even as someone who played a lot of... Uh, DOS games back in the day, and who doesn't mind PC speakers terribly. I mean, they're not great, and again, shouldn't be used for music. Um, let's take another beast here, because maybe the lion was bad luck. Let's be the cool tiger. This is, uh, Tony the Tiger's brother, Jerry. Jerry the Tiger is gonna save the circus. Also, this guy needs a belt. Alright, starting with the high dive. Jerry the Tiger is going to own it. So, um, I think you can actually do different 
uh, poses here. Oh god. Oh, there we go. The King Tut. That's something. And get in the pool of water, land! Oh yeah, he did it. We actually made it into a pool of water. All right, now phase two. We jump from a higher phase. Okay, so now the the water is smaller. I don't know how to recline. I'm trying all the buttons and directions. But uh, okay, we did we did a move. Nothing seems to do anything. Alright, if I just land in the water, I consider it a success. Oh, he landed in like a bucket, and he's pumping his fist! Alright, we are doing better. Freddy is not showing up to, uh... ...the yoga pose. Okay, I'm just gonna... ...try doing these. Nothing seems to work. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. He's diving from a tall space, though, and he's supposed to land on a brick. Yeah, blow me off course, why don't you? That will make a big difference. Not landing on the brick <laughs> is gonna be- is gonna make or break me. Oh, look, I'm doing like a reclining move. Boom! Into the brick! Oh, he just walks away? <laughs> that was a success! Alright, this is- this one's for all the marbles. Can we land into- it looks like a glass of water. Honestly, you can be, like, way off course for 90% of this. Swan dive. Do it. Do your move, man. You only have to, like, get on the target, like, right near the end. So... Uh, it almost seems like the first dive is the hardest, because once Freddy shows up, if he blows you off course, like, you're screwed. So I'd rather him show up, uh, you know, in the, uh... In the higher dives, because it's like you have more time to recover if he does show up. Oh god. Oh no, Freddy! You dick! He showed up right at the end and screwed me. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid that. Um, oh, he poked the guy in the eyeballs. Come on, that's like two grand worth of diving right there, clowns. Six hundred dollars only? <laughs> only? I got three out of four. Damn, those clowns are hard to impress. All right, I have no other tactics for how to figure out juggling. Um, oh my god, get your hands out. Get your hands out. Okay. Um, and go, throw. There we go, throw. Catch, throw. Okay, well, we're throwing stuff. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. We are, we are failing at this hard. Throw, oh, we threw it back at Freddy. Hey, how do you... So you, you just sort of press left and right in a button, and that's how you sort of move your hands. There we go. Oh god, oh god, grab it, grab it! Oh no, don't pull me off, no! That like big ominous, uh, you know, candy cane. Cane is coming to like pull me away. That's, that's when you know you're doing bad at a circus game. That clown stuck a pie in his face and gave me 36 cents. That's insulting. All right, Bikini Girl goes trapezing. This one I think I can actually do. Oh, God, grab it. Damn it. This one seems the most doable. Oh, God, it's a trap. All right, we're going to wait for it to come back. And go. Boom. Okay, here it goes. Leap of faith. Where is it? Damn it! Ah, oh, God. Okay, I want to go back and practice the um, trapeze one after. Because I feel like that one, of all the events, that one feels like the most... Like, I can actually do the best. The other ones feel a bit random. Like, the swan diving one, I totally could have landed all four, but Freddy showed up and screwed me over. This knife throwing one at the bikini babe is actually really hard. Um, you know, the juggling one... Oh god, I think I threw a knife, like, right into her. Oh, I hit her right in the knee! I'm sorry. Okay, we got that one. Um, he's throwing a bomb. What a dick. Oh, we got that one, though. Okay. We only got a couple more of these. Ooh, we got that one. By accident. I was actually aiming for the other one near it. Oh, we got that one. Oh, we almost got that one. 
Oh shoot, I threw two, I didn't mean to. Crap, crap, crap. Ah, oh, God. It's actually quite hard. Okay, we got that one. Oh, crap. Oh, that green one is like really hard to get. Oh, God, I hit her in the toe. Crap, didn't, shouldn't have thrown it there. Oh, come on, that stupid green one! I'm gonna go for the, the white one instead. That green one's impossible. Oh, I missed the, the white one, too. Damn, that's actually very, very hard. Here come the judges! Now judging Jerry the Cool Tiger. The judges give him... How much money? Sixty dollars! <laughs> Somehow, I feel like we're doing worse than the first time through. Alright, time for this strong, bald, uh, drink of water. To, uh, just run and hoof it across the trapeze here. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. This one actually isn't too bad either. It's sort of a concentration game. And you need fast reflexes to recover. Boom. Like, that was actually, like, quite easy. Let's try this again. I know Freddy's gonna be flying around now, trying to buzzsaw us in two. Maybe I should just keep going for it and not worry about him. Last time I tried to, like, uh... Oh my god, he cut me in two! <laughs> I was gonna say, last time I tried to actually avoid him, and uh, it actually cost me, so this time... Maybe I'll just, like, hoof it. I don't know what to do when he throws a buzzsaw at you. Like, should I have stopped there? I don't- I don't know how you defend against that either. <laughs> this game is just comic mischief and mayhem. And we got... 1100 bucks. We got more for double failing on the trapeze than we did for getting three out of four in the, the high jump water one. I don't understand the... the, you know, currency that these clowns are working with. It, it's so random. It's just all over the place. Um, alright, so this guy needs to be- this needs to be, like, really close. Like, this guy lands somewhere around here. Alright, and then we just wait for 45 degrees. Boom. Launch me! And off we go! Oh, it's gonna- he's gonna come up too short! Damn it! Okay, I have to be even closer. Alright. We'll be even closer then. We're gonna go, like, right here, man. I don't know how to, like, add more, uh, ammo. Maybe it's, like, after you succeed at the first one, then it's, like, the next one's more powerful or something like that. I feel like I'm gonna overshoot it now. Oh, God! Oh, no! He just missed- Oh, no! He landed! Damn! Alright. So now what? Now there's pro probably gonna be more power. No, now there's even less power! I don't understand this at all. Okay, so go like, right there. We'll do another 45 degrees. Two... Three... Go! Launch me! Very... Little... Power. Oh my god, he went nowhere! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the cannon one either. Can I- can I adjust the amount of power here? Guess not. Okay, so he it's like right there is as far as he's gonna get. You would think for the cannon one that they want to fire him like as far as possible, but it does not- Does not seem so. Like I'm not even gonna make it to the thing. It wasn't even close enough! They're like, and now a man will be shot out of the cannon with very low velocity. He's basically gonna fall out of the cannon, you know, we didn't actually put any gunpowder in there. 620 bucks though, almost as much as diving correctly three out of four times. And we lost the circus again. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and give the, um, the trapeze girl another, one more shake. Because I feel like we might actually be able to... I don't even care about succeeding, you know, in the set of minigames. I just want to actually succeed, um, you know, by ourselves. Like, I just want to get through one minigame and, like, do it right. 
in the trapeze one feels like we might actually be able to do it. So we're gonna practice the trapeze. And uh, off we're gonna go with her. Press Q to quit, fire to continue. All right, let's do it. Whoa! So the first one, you kind of go right away. The second one, you kind of have to wait one cycle. The third one, you have to wait two cycles. There's like an elephant in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that there was... Oh, another rope. Hey, we just did that one. And we flew through that. Oh, now it's a ring of fire. Whoa! <laughs> See, I have, like, a lot more uh, ability on this one. Oh, we're gonna miss the thingy. Oh, wait, what? You're not supposed to hit that thing? Wait, that's confusing. Or maybe I bonked my head on the, uh... Uh... The, like, railing of it or something. I don't know. And go! Oh, we did not wait for the apex of the, the thingy. Hmm. So I guess you just play this over and over until, like, you just get the timing down and you can just do this, like, perfectly. Oh, she died again. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, Fiendish Freddy's Big Top O Fun. Interesting little collection of mini games. It, again, it's in the style of like California games, winter games, skate or die. Um, I feel like the games in this are okay, but I wouldn't sort of say that. Uh, oh God, grab! <laughs> I didn't even realize there was rope. I wouldn't say they're necessarily amazing or like blowing my socks off. Um, I think uh, some of the cachet of this game is sort of the unique nature of it. You know, you don't really get a lot of mini game games that are set in circuses that have sort of a zany sense of humor. Um, it is kind of a neat game, mind you. But, oh, grab the thing. Um, every single mini game is just brutally hard. And I guess the whole idea of it is that, uh, can I just hold on to this forever? I guess I can, eh? Until I'm ready to go. Gotta keep I mean, keeps doing off. Oh, no. He's going to cut the rope. We just got to go for it. Oh, what? I hit the... Wow. Okay, there's no way to... I don't know what happens when I fall to my death when I hit those... Uh, hit those targets I'm supposed to burst through. But Anyway, it's, it's an interesting game. I, I learned about this recently, and it looked kind of fun and sort of nostalgic, so, so I thought I'd give it a try. I am a little disappointed we couldn't keep playing the Amiga version, but man, it was taking so long to load. Um, so instead we have to deal with the awful PC speaker here. But uh, I don't know, what do you guys think of Fiendish Freddy's Big Topo Fun here? Is it a game that you guys have heard about before? Do you have fond memories of it? Tips or tricks? Comments? Anything else like that? Feel free to sound off down below. And I'm gonna wrap this one up real quickly, because the music is really getting to me. So... I hope you guys did have fun today. If you did, don't forget to like the video and all this stuff, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and peace. Okay, here it goes. Leap of faith! Where is it? Damn it. <laughs>